Greetings, greetings, greetings. A treatise on arrest and false imprisonment by Charles A. Weissman. Interesting piece of book, interesting piece of document. Interesting narrative. Introduction. This book is about liberty. It is about the lawful and unlawful means by which government acts in depriving an individual of his liberty. History teaches that deprivation of liberty is more often arbitrary and unlawful than it is otherwise. Arbitrarily mean them just do what them want at their own whim. Them not have no legal or them not following a process, no due process. You know what I mean? Due process would be them get a signed warrant, pull a man like me over, kiss him with the warrant, and we go through the legal due process as per law. For me personally, I didn't experience that. I have three men pretending to be officials of the state. You know what I mean? When I know they are just, you know, say service agents way below the police who actually give me a business card. You know what I mean? So this book is about liberty. It is about the lawful and unlawful means by which government acts in depriving an individual such as I of his liberty. History teaches that deprivation of liberty is more often arbitrary and unlawful than it is otherwise. At least this is always the tendency of those who hold executive corporate power. Daniel Webster once stated this problem in these words. The contest for ages has been to rescue liberty from the grasp of the executive power, the corporate executive power. Liberty is taken away or deprived most commonly by arrest and imprisonment. The practice of easy arrest and secret imprisonment has always been an earmark of a despotic executive power. To compound this problem, we have the legislative mills, which turn out thousands of new so-called laws every year. The passion of modern legislatures to regulate every facet of the most intimate concerns of everyday life is notorious. This would be oppressive enough if administered under the requirements of a warrant or a summons, but it becomes double intolerable if every zealous officer is authorized to arrest on sight every person whom he detects breaking one of these laws, no one can be safe to leave their home or to travel about for fear of being subject to thousands of unknown laws in which he could be instantly arrested for transgressing. One law review writer state the problem as follows. People no longer live their whole lives in the villages in which they were born. They pass freely from place to place and in transit go through numerable towns and villages. The risk of being arrested on sight become one's conduct contravenes some 
because one's conduct contravenes some corporate regulations which the wisdom of the local salons deems necessary. It is appalling to any thinking person for the risk of being arrested on sight become a man's cause of a man's conduct will contravene a policy. I mean, a public policy, not really a law, or some other rules or regulation which the wisdom of the local, you know, say, companies or local service corporation, because they're all functioning in a corporate capacity. They do not have access to the living man or woman. Only through deception or deceptive means or forgery and fraud. That's the only way. Or without the consent of the government. Written consent, wet ink, physical, presentable document, then there's no laws that can be enforced. There's no rules that can be enforced. Anything outside of that will be trespass. Yeah, man. So the risk of being arrested, arrested on sight, because one's conduct contravenes some regulation which the wisdom of the local salons deems necessary is appalling to any thinking person. It would be impossible to know at what moment one might become <laughs> amenable to arrest. That means that, uh, I guess, let me try to put me in a state of mind where we're supposed to fear the state authorities, so called. So, right here, there might be a divide between we and our public servants, because if our public servants start view us as enemy, and we have to in turn view our public servants as enemy, then that would be a catastrophe, because it's a simple state of pecking order. If you're a public servant, then I am your master. I am your boss. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? And the moment you choose to challenge that, it's not a problem. You know what I mean? I can prove that you're employed by a fictitious entity called the government of Whatever it is, you know what I mean? And in order for that government to be created, it has to have the consent of whomever it chooses to govern. Without that consent, it's called trespass. Unless you're a psychopath claiming the next man or woman as your property, only psychopath do such things. Yeah, man. Only non-human do such things. <laughs> it would be impossible to know at what moment one might become amenable to arrest, meaning one might become susceptible or subjected to arrest. So it's like the master boy, we live in a police state. I don't have a problem. I really don't have a problem when our public servant step out. You know what I mean? To protect and serve because we have a lot of misguided people out there who choose criminality in our different and various ways. So we're going to need the policy enforcers to enforce whatever contract, you know what I mean? They're authorized to enforce because remember, you know, if you're a slave, you know, that means you have a master. 
You know what I mean? And if you have a master, you are subjected to your master's will. I am no slave. I have no master. Only the creator of nature, which is within I, not outside of I. You know what I mean? So as man, there is no other above I. None. And I don't place myself above no other man. We are all equal under God. And our man chose to apply himself. That's how he'll develop. That's how he'll probably elevate socially. You get me? And everybody's views might be a little different. Someone just want a big house with a little driveway. Someone want a big house with a long, huge driveway. While the next man tell yo, my good enough, you know, just put me by the riverside, that's uh, under the big tree there. You get me? And a trapaulin will be okay. And me start right there. And if I can build from here, I'm good enough. Some people is like that. You have a next people where they're not here and not all. So to each his own, and any man interfere with the next man's liberty. He does so at his own peril. It's as simple as that. Who are you? If you think you can just dictate terms or talk to a next man as yourself, as if you are them boss. You can't do that. There's a fee schedule in place for that. Yeah, man. Everybody is not the same. You know what I mean? Everybody can never be the same. Everybody have free will. I'm gonna have to choose his part, choose his destiny. Yeah, man. A, revol a revolution in England and the revolution of the American colonies are said by high authorities to have been largely influenced by, see it, yeah? Promiscuous seizure and searches of persons and property. Yeah, man. The history of our ancestors over the centuries teaches that a people cannot be free where the executive power, the corporate executive power, can arbitrarily arrest or imprison free man or woman or ransack at will the property of we, the free people of this earth. The executive power is limited and guided by the law of the land, not the law of the sea, the law of the land, or due process of law. Yeah, man, due process are when it, you know, you go through the, 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 the basic steps were relevant. You know what I mean? If you have any kind of issue with me, I am accessible. I'm no criminal, I'm not hiding away. You know what I mean? Contact me and invite me in any kind of, you know, tribunal or even a, a basic, you know, sitting where we can reason and discuss what it is opposed to this bullying technique. We had us pull a free man off the road and us confiscating property unlawfully. You know what I mean? And then carry him through your court process, a legal process. That's called injury. We take me into your so called legal process. And it's been since 2019, November 30. So I have been. Out of my property. Me not have no use of my property. Me has, you know, me have to spend money here and there and all kind of inconvenience while these three officers that stole my private property. Them have access, you know, to fill them vehicle. I'm quite sure them can take them children anywhere to the park, 
You know what I mean? To church, they can do all of these things while me not have that access. And you tell me I, I should just sit still. And it's okay. Come on, people. My court is a public court. Court is a public accommodation. And we have some bar members where convert our public accommodation into their private lodges. I was by the traffic court the other day. Totally forget my mask. I keep telling people I don't have a problem wearing a mask, especially if I have a conversation with people up close and personal. If it's at a distance, the mass is irrelevant. But I know when I talk, I have a list on. So, saliva will fly from me. Me know that. So, I don't mind a mask up. So, when I speak, I speak away from people. And I know other people will talk to me. And if I'm not careful, saliva will fly from them on me. So, I, I, I don't have no problem with a mask. However, I never have a mask with me. But uh, me always have to try hitchhike a ride here or there or get a ride or me have to just have spend money for a ride. This lady I tell me I cannot go into the court without a mask. And I try to explain to her nicely, hey, listen, madam, don't have a problem with the mask. And I just left it because, you know, I basically unprepared, get out of the place and I try to get here for get some things done. So the lady I try to tell me, I said, oh, I can't do all of these things. So I have to ask her who she is, who are you, and what is her name? She says she is a court administrator. She never give me her name. And then when I start sure how I deal with my paperwork, I guess she proceed to ask me, or she start to ask me if me own the building. You know what I mean? Because who is me? I ask she who she is. So I tell her, sir, in fact, I can prove some own this building. I can prove that the public record of the highest evidence form, certified copy. I claim everything, man. Everything I claim. Everything. So I can prove that claim, and she can. And so she, she went inside and locked the door. Never like bolted in, I just locked the door. And by the time I flick up my phone for make a recording, because I like to record everything I And I like the problem, man. So I like to record everything. So I just like record a base. I actually record a basic statement. I said, this court administrator. You know what I mean? And me always mindful, because I know, say, irrespective of who me I deal with. Them a parent, you know what I mean? Them have children somewhere, irrespective of how old them is. Especially when them old, them have grown adult children probably like me. Them have husband, them have wives, you know? Them have people who care and love and, you know, respect them. I know that. Me always cognizant of that. So I always I try to give that respect to the people. Them. You get me? Any man will know me. Now nah, I can hear me just come and be rude and be, can never say that. You know what I mean? I can always be respectful. I can always be courteous. At first, you get me? Until you become dishonorable, then I'll tear you up. Simple. You know what I mean? Because the moment I ask this lady who is a public servant work for the government of Jamaica, her name, it is by law she should tell me her name. You know what I mean? And when she don't, then, you know what I mean? She had break her own rules, her own policy, and she had break the law. You get me? She had break the law. However, not long after, like a few seconds after the door opened and a little, our next clerk came out, beautiful young lady, beautiful lady, came out, and she saw him out the phone, and she ran back in and said she don't want to be videoed. And a, a next few seconds after, not a long time, just a few seconds after the door opened again, and I explained to that lady, so listen, I'm not trying to video, I was doing something totally different. And then she said, Mr. Dallas, you know, you always come here and you have your mask, and me and I are chat a little, chop it up. Uh, I explained to her, I said, yeah, but I just left the mask today. And I know it now applied to me. Absolutely, no laws. 
of the government of Jamaica or Her Majesty's Parliament. Absolutely. No laws, no rules, no the, 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 the disaster risk management act. None of those stuff apply to I. I can't say the same for the other so-called people out there who claim to be Jamaican citizens. I cannot speak for those people. I can only speak for our Indian nation in America, those people. And those people can prove that they are who they are by presenting their seal upon documentation where they have quorum witness. You know what I mean? And they have authorized. You understand? Those are who can prove that, yes, we are not just saying our. You know what I mean? This is our society. This is where we pledge our allegiance. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And all are welcome once they have the right spirit. You know what I mean? All can be grafted in. But this is just our specific society. Yeah, man. And we're separate and distinct from what you call your Jamaican. You get me? That, that, that's subject to some imaginary crown. We're totally separate and distinct from those people. I cannot mess with those people. I cannot interfere with other people's property. I cannot, you know, do that. Now, as owner of this body and as owner of the legal title, Linton O'Neill Dallas, I am the owner. And only the owner can bring a trespass. And I'm saying to you, Government of Jamaica, Her Majesty's Parliament, or United States Corporation, principal. I am outside your jurisdiction. Yeah, I am not a subject of yours. I'm not a ward of your state. I am not a property. Yeah, man, I've made several public declarations. However, I don't mind doing it this way. At least I'm leaving a pathway for others to follow. That's basically what I'm doing. And I'll say this publicly. When this business is concluded, I've gone privately. I have time for all of this YouTube mess. I tell you the truth. Not interested, not they have to try to become famous or popular. No, but just publish my knowledge. You know what I mean? Because if I never publish my knowledge, I probably would be in Bellevue somewhere getting a whole bunch of injection. Uh, people would say, Hey, that, that dude is crazy. But when you publish your knowledge and give a people the opportunity to qualify the information that you're bringing, then no court can say, hey, I'm incompetent. You know what I mean? That would be impossible. At best, you might say, hey, he doesn't follow our court rules and he doesn't follow our court procedure and he doesn't follow our court process. I'm not supposed to. I'm not your bar member. I'm not a group member. I'm not a club member. I am not of your society. So under no circumstance, no kind of rules. You know what I mean? Where you impose it, not apply to a man as I. It not apply to our work Indian nation in America, that specific society. It not apply to its members. It's called trespass. And when you, court clerk, moving forward with your legal process, it's called forgery. It's called fraud. Or oh, your Regina is a fictitious entity. And a fictitious entity is committing contempt upon the court. And all of these things is on the public record as evidence. You get me? I am no genius. I'm not as learned as you people. I'm not even bright. 
like some of the people that were in my chat, in my group chat. As I always say, I am the student here. I am your student. I am learning from you. Yeah, man. The executive power is limited and guided by the law of the land, not the law of the sea or due process of law. If it was a restriction upon the King of England, it must be so for every petty officer to do. Then not even I, as Nestorian King, is above the law. I'm not. Yeah, man. I will live by what is known as the golden rule. Do no harm, but allow no harm to come unto you. So this is how we live by the golden rule. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, we are lawful in our capacity. You get me? And we are dear to the Supreme Lord of land. God, that's the law that keeps you guys in check. It's not for me. It does secure, it guarantees, it preserves this unalienable, inalienable right. You get me? Which is my duty to exercise for this right not come from man, it comes from the creator of man. So who is the next man talking about here a magistrate? Listen, my good brother, Sir Maxwell. Be a respect, my good you know. The only man when I get no respect from me are the prosecutor. Uh, is this honorable? This prosecutor was there from the beginning. From there was a rude magistrate called Edwards was there. And that lady, no, she don't want to face me. Because that was our, the court we were sure. An affidavit of ownership. You get me? And I've never seen that lady again. That's a rude lady. Can't put them people in front of me. You get me? However... Sir Maxwell, you're a bar member, you get me? And you guys are playing a very dangerous game, not in terms of being harmful to people, individual. It's more exposing your corruption. It's exposing your fraud. Uh, you guys have what is known as conflict of interest all over the place. You know what I mean? All of you guys are bosom buddies. You all play games, play dominoes, drink together, probably share women together. Well, I'm not know about the prosecutor. I'm not sure if them man be like woman. I'm not really know. A man that kind of carry himself like he probably a family man, married man, and him not mess around. That are the prosecutor. So he probably focus and look for him future being a judge somewhere. You know what I mean? But everybody have them personal side and personal life. That's how we not get involved. So we can't talk about that for you. We can talk about my case and the people and we are associating with my case. And this prosecutor have been a thorn within my thing. Uh, this is the man where underwrite a bond on the case using my name. Because I'm going to put up for him own bond. Now I'm going to compel him for put up his bond. You get me? And before that court case proceed, I'm going to put him bond on the record. I'm going to write it and add it to my fee schedule. I'm going to still I give them a lot of room. You get me? But the public are going to convict them and provide them own commission and their own omission. This is how they get judged in the public. You can't call Regina. You cannot call Regina. You get me? Because I'm going to show documents where Regina says she not have no business with the government here. So you can't call Regina. Anything where you are called as Regina is a hall that it not exists. 
You understand? So you said a man or a woman acting in any capacity that bring trespass because I am the owner. I am he. I am here. The trespass against man. I mean, I tell you, say it will cost you one million US. US American dollar. Yeah, man. Silver coin. I don't no want nothing on a paper. Nothing on paper. Listen to this. These are called 9.999. Yeah, 0.999 try ounce silver, you know? It's a one try ounce. I never have a bunch of them in my hand like this. So I go want about a million of these. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm out. But listen, I'm business friendly. You get me? Yeah. Now nah, look, forget rich and them things. Yeah, man. I'm always negotiable. Yeah, so right now I know my pro box I don't need a lot of work. So just get my thing in order, give it to me, and whatever else it is where I can be. You know, commendable as compensation. And I want to go about that business. Anything outside of that, you know, your whole house have a tumble down. But there's a power in it. There's one of those undisturbed power where it's at the moment that power is disturbed. Yeah, man, everything just change. And when it change, that's just it. It just change. So for you, poor clerk, and all of you guys who associate with my things, I am he. You have no authority. Absolutely no authority. Yeah, man. In many of the treaties and the law pertaining to the rights of the people, and in many of the older and better court cases, we find the declaration that we find the declaration. The law is very jealous of liberty, of the liberty of the people. Likes a citizen, kind of the old time days, the citizen was what I might call the American citizen. And the attorneys, you know, convert and rearrange the word, you know what I mean? And as a citizen now means something different. So we just say, we the people, you know what I mean? We're not about a citizen. The law is very jealous of the liberty of the people. What law is it that so regards liberty? What law is it? Which law is it? Where the law that come from? It is a common law. And it declares that one who interferes with another's liberty does so at his peril. You hear it? Let me repeat it. The law is jealous of the liberty of the people. What do you mean? What law is that? So regards liberty. Which law we were talking about? Listen, it is a common law. And it declares that one who interferes, any man who interferes with the next man's liberty, interferes at his own peril. That law also prescribes how arrests are to be made and the restrictions that are involved in making such arrests. What law is that? That's the common law. You get me? That's the common law, not the commercial law, not the admiralty law. You get me? It's the common law. Yeah, man. The supreme law of the land. Definition of false imprisonment. What constitutes false imprisonment? Yeah, man. False imprisonment consists of any type of unlawful restraint or interference 
with the personal liberty of a man or a woman. It basically involves any unlawful violation of the liberty of another man or woman. The ancient English legal scholar Henry de Bracton, 1200 to 1268, tells us that false imprisonment is one of the oldest violations of rights known. Forcefully to deprive a man of freedom to go wherever he may so clearly a trespass. Let me rephrase that. Let me, let me repeat that. I reread that. Forcefully to deprive a man of freedom to go wheresoever he may is clearly a trespass. So what constitutes trespass? You know what I mean? The moment you interfere with a man's liberty. The moment you forcefully deprive a man of him freedom, of him free will to move, to go wheresoever he may, is clearly a trespass on the part of these three policy enforcers because they don't think they are public servants. They may reach that level. My detective sergeant is a public servant. Those people under him, their policy enforces. Yeah, man. Their policy enforces. So when the policy enforces forcefully deprive a man of him freedom to move, freedom of locomotion, that is called trespass, false imprisonment was indeed one of the first trespasses recognized by the common law. So now you say, why even a foreign friend at all about the common law is gone and is done and is removed? Yeah, man, my good brother, Mark Christopher, I talk about the common law is all of these things. I know you're not originally from here, and all I don't know have agendas. Every single one I know out there have agendas. You know what I mean? That's why I found the world so huge and beautiful. You get me? Because it's an illusion. The common law, as per the contract, you get me, is the supreme law of the land. And then derive that same concept of the common law from the very same ten commandments. You get me? Of the scriptures. So this is where the common law derived from. And in the scriptures, it'll tell you, say, do no harm, it'll tell you, say, have no other God, it'll tell you all of these things. So we invoke the common law. And we don't necessarily mix it up with not this and not that. No. We just know, say, boy, from me and you now have no contract. Watch me. You know, I've not authority to even speak to me. Don't even speak to me. Do not even engage me if you are not prepared to engage in a contract. You know what I mean? You'll be trespassing. You'll be harassing me. You'll be assaulting me. You get me? And I have a legal right to defend myself. You get me? Yeah, man forcefully. Yeah, man, may have that, 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 that lawful right there to defend myself. So you see, may have all kind of rights, may have legal rights, and may have lawful right to defend myself against any man with trespass. So don't come chat to my boy for Avan Mars. Who is you? Are you God? You better have a lot of money when you do that. Because I'm going to file a claim against you. A trespass claim against you. And that is only one charge. When you have public servants, there's numerous charges. 
and we don't have no interest in all of that. You know, all me I say, you know, me have a right to be left alone. Run my property for me. Run some compensation. Me the Minister of National Security. I want much billions to spend on crime. Watch me now. What you are doing over here is a crime. So give me back some of them money that for somebody have to compensate me. However, again, I know this for a fact. Your necessity, me now question. Your corporate rulership, me now question. Because if a man chose you for rule over them, that's a man's free will choice. I do not. So yes, we need you, police. Policy enforcers. You get me? Public servants. We need enough to deal with phone set of people. Phone set of criminals. A phone of people. Them. You get me? Them delegate them authority to you guys. I didn't delegate no authority to no one. You get me? So false imprisonment consists of any type of unlawful restraint or interference with personal liberty, with the personal liberty of any man or woman. Yeah, man. Man, not for forget that. Was imprisonment is classified as a tort under the common law, meaning some boy can sue a man, and also a crime. So see the federal charges can be laid. Tell me a thing now for bring state and federal criminal charges against these individuals. Every one we associate with my name. Or one of the biggest problem is the fraud going to perpetrate, trying to administer my estate when. When you can't rebut my affidavit of claim, how can you? You know what I mean? It's impossible. And your little bond want to keep, you know? It's not enough for compensate me. The figures on your bonds can't compensate me. The moment when I move forward, my fee schedule is initiated. And my fee schedule deals with lawful money. Notice. My figures is in writing. I'm not showing a little symbol. You know what I mean? So step by step as we move forward. It has been labeled as a tort, a trespass, an assault. See that? A wrong, a damage, and an injury. Giving one cause to bring suit against another for remedy. Oh, look at that. Depriving a man of their liberties legally no different than depriving a person of their property. Listen to that. Depriving a man of his liberty is no different. Is legally no different than depriving a man of his property. A theft of liberty is a wrong by which remedy can be had, just as is the case with a theft. Of a man's property. So, so much charges them. Oh, it's so interesting. It's so interesting. It's so interesting. So interesting. You have an assault charge. The man put him on for me and place on for, which is a wrong and a damage. Yeah, man. Well, here I am. From 2019 now at 2021. Oh, it's been years now. I'm being persecuted. You get me by a foreign system who employ some local people to do their bidding. Now the local people shall be held liable for this foreign system. And this is the only way to get correction to the foreign system that exists. Where is it? So the people, the man or woman, who has to be insured and the insurance where insured is lawful evidence of fact. You get me? Yeah, man. You have to be insured. Your insurance is in a fictional, fictional currency. You get me? You now deal with a fictional man. <laughs> yeah, man. We are dealing with the executor from this office, the boss, and that's who we are dealing with. 
the executor, they yeah, look for Donald Trump or Sissy Joe Biden. But non entity Joe Biden, that's who you look for. But I am the executor here, whether you like it or not. My documentation based in a certain areas is law, whether you like it or not. I won't be screaming and shouting. I really wish to just quietly go in my little corner, play a little bit of golf. You get me? Yeah, man, ride up my bicycle and share my information quietly, privately, to the people that will contact me. You know what I mean? That's it. I have no interest in this YouTube world. So I feel it's an illusion. The truth that's here, you know, you have to be off truth, forget it. You know what I mean? And when you really find it, you won't find a lot of crowd there. <sighs> Interested, man. A treatise. Yeah, man, on arrest and false imprisonment. One of the most powerful documents every free man should have in their library. Last year, I made a push it. I mean, I pushed it from before that. But now, group chat. Yeah, man, I have a powerful WhatsApp group chat. The most unique group chat in WhatsApp. The most unique group chat out there. You know, which we start so long and we are simple for common for. You get me? We have probably a one and two sprinkles of, you know, say, brilliance. Uh, we have that. We have some people with us have that touch of brilliance there. And all it needs to do is, you know, is to be nurtured. So, I'm like, we're lacking in much. All we need are the opportunity to bring the information so we can. Remove the contradictions so we can qualify the information. Learn how to apply it and move forward. That's all we need. We don't need your money. You know what I mean? We don't need nothing at all from you people. Nothing at all. What we really need is for the foreign construct to leave our land. We don't need no Chinese man for come here come build nothing for us. And an insult is that. You know what I mean? What kind of insult is that? We are here on our island and we choose some other people from some other places who come do some things for us. Or what kind of sissy life that them a teach us and a treat us like so boy, we are some clowns. Then uh, was it the Chinese man come here come build a flat bridge what we see? Or you ever tell me say the British man come here come build a flat, flat bridge what we see? You know what I mean? Watch me now. You might come with some ideas, but uh, we, the man and woman, are putting them labor there. And most of the material are still our land it come from. You get me? So even if you come with something where we never know about, and I'm nothing strange that uh, amongst our people, we always develop new concepts where the rest of our people don't know about until it's been taught. So them other people so messed up mentally, where everybody else will look upon as superior. Everybody else will look upon as God. And we're not looking in the mirror. We're not looking at ourselves. This is why we're in another state here. Yeah. We say so with us a war with each other and think so we are bad people. We have a big machine gun of fire one million rounds and we turn it down upon some innocent people or even some man will look like we will keep trouble though. And then we'll say, yeah, we're bad. Who we think that benefit? They only benefit the foreigner. Because if they allow we to wipe out each other, they're not just walking without firing a shot. Them not for fire a shot in aggression. We are doing it for them. You get me? Them full up with so called leaders' head with all of these vanity. You know what I mean? Give them a much, a much, a much so called money and give them access for all kind of things. And do a so-called leader on behalf of the people. Soul the people out. That's why I will never delegate my authority to no dumb man. 
in other parliament. No way. No, no, no. I call all of them. All of them. From when I don't have the knowledge of what I have, when I can't talk to me, I don't care what kind of so-called title is behind your name. I have my own title. I am Nestorian King. Yeah. I am also the executor of my own estate. Yeah, we have many titles, but we give our self our title. We claim our own title. When I make you foreign people label us, you get me? When I want to hear nothing from you guys, don't talk to it. The moment you open your mouth to it, it's called trespass. What kind of authority you have to even talk to a man like me? You have none. You get me? If you want to do business with it, I'm always business friendly. You get me? I have a fee schedule in place for any business activity. And if I need to work as an independent contractor, that can also be arranged. I have a problem. You get me? And when I say, yo, my fee schedule and just like this violation where I know say, I have a million dollars I come to me, that's not, that not important. You can't settle for way less than that. Let's do business. Let's settle this matter. Let's conclude this matter. Enough of the shenanigans. You know what I mean? Enough of the foolishness. So you, prosecutor, I know you think you're all of that, but I can tell you with absolute confidence that you're not. Not when you're in a corporate capacity. Not when you're on the wrong side of the issue. Not when you're committing fraud. I'm totally unaware of it. In trouble. You think I'm the lawbreaker? No, I am a crime fighter. And you better know what is a crime before you point your finger. You, magistrate, enough of your games. You're a grown man. You know what's going on. You were the one who recognized from day one. Don't watch what I'm doing. I could have done this many different ways. And I settled it quietly. But my people would never have access like they have now. My people would never, never, never have a clue to this level. So I had to bring that paradigm shift and do it publicly. I have, and this is an absolute victory for no corporate entity that exists only in a piece of paper can criminalize me. None. I mean, people get this document, and I like the whole heap of reading, but you know, me that for come out come. Bring this thing again forward. We always have this document. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. False imprisonment is a great offense due to the high regard the law has for liberty. You hear that? False imprisonment is a great offense due to the high regard the law. What law? Common law. That's the only law. Has for liberty. Yeah, man. The infraction of personal liberty has ever been regarded as one of the greatest injuries. The injuries to liberty are principally termed false imprisonment or malicious prosecution. Hear that, the traffic court prosecutor, Mr. James. Yeah, man. The injuries to liberties are principally termed false imprisonment. That's when the police put on cuff on me. So I'm detain me. And I'm not take me out of handcuff until the record come. What kind of rudeness is that? However, they can't accuse me of being rude that day. They can't accuse me of being, you know, it has a belligerent that day. The only thing you hear from me, I do not consent. I'm going to express all of these things. Brethren, you guys, you guys, 
after us in fools. And that's what we are here for. Now, if we embarrass you guys, you have to put on in the spotlight on us. You have real criminal, we have do real things out there. And I have no problem with you not take care of that. You don't need to take care of that. You uh, don't need no gloves to do that. That me and Dawson on. When a man I go get up and go put all any weapon at the next man. Sure. And her, you know, intimidate a woman and grab her purse. You know, them things that's wrong. You get me? And the people that want to perpetrate that to get some judgment. You think I'm here to talk about me I support criminality. I support criminality on no level. You get me? On no level. I rather encourage some ones and say, make we go find a bush. Talk to the people them or whoever own the bush. And we go chop out the bush and we we'll build some whole skid and we just talk for you however long. A month, two, three months. And when we come out, we kind of look, you know, unkept, dirty. But at least we we'll put in some work and we have some coal for ourselves. We have a little money. And we use the money to turn it over and go do something again. And we just keep building. And if we can come together as a group and do it, you know, on the mass level, and then we probably can reach something and everybody is a part of something. That me rather encourage. Me not encourage. No man to take up no gun. You can't read and write where you want to go, you idiot. You know, so them are set you up. They're setting you up. They're setting you up to fail. And now I'll give you the right tools. Tell a man to give you a laptop and help you pay the internet service. And tell him to come check back with you one year from now. And I guarantee him now go here so you're dead or they are prison. He might be impressed with just even your narrative, just how you are welcoming, just how you are talk. Just how you are formulate your sentence structure. That alone is going to be impressive. You understand where you think the gun come from? Somebody a manufacture it and I sell it as big business. And whoever I do that, I'm a local people do that. So people they are setting you guys up. And if we allow them to set we up, they will and we're going to pay for the setup. Yeah man, free will. Choose, choose good over evil, man. Yeah, man. Choose good over evil. That's it. Yes, I. Unlawful detention or deprivation of liberty is the basis of an action for the court of false imprisonment. Actual seizure or the laying on of hands is not necessary to constitute an unlawful detention. Well, when them put me in handcuffs, that does that do just that. Thus, the only essential element of the action are one, detention or restraint against one's will. That's one. And two, the unlawfulness of such detention or restraint. In his treatise on the law of torts, Judge Cooley states, false imprisonment is a wrong akin to the wrong of assault and battery and consists in imposing by force or threat an unlawful restraint upon a man's freedom of locomotion. Wow. People. You have to have that document in a library. It's important. Blacks, even the police, them have them information. Very important. Blackstone, in his commentary on the law, states on this matter, every confinement of the man is an imprisonment, whether it be in a common prison or in a private house or in the stocks or even by forcibly detaining one in the public streets. You see that? So, you know, 
I got shot it down right here. I don't know how long me have gone. I, mean, I really like this long drawn out, drawn out instead. But need have to touch base where this document is concerned. And this document is a 79 page document, like I said. You know what I mean? And people can choose. It's a free will choice. People can choose to go check out this document. Yeah, man. This document 